beautiful Scottish views, countryside exploration, and all the whiskey we can taste. Join us in this special dram-filled episode of Living Like Locals. To fully explain how we started our whiskey tasting day, we'll have to flash back to the night before. Hey, so we're at the Coach House here in Pitlochry in Scotland, and their pizza, their wood fire pizza is amazing. We had it years ago, and they don't have it for lunch. So we came for lunch earlier, they didn't have it, but it's dinner time now, and we want to go and try the best pizza in Pitlochry, if not Scotland. Let's go. Hey, so we just finished at the coach house and we had a wonderful spicy pepperoni pizza and it was really good. We give it five yum yums. We liked it so much that we actually ordered a second one because uh, we wanted a few more slices. So it was really good. The coach house in Pitlochry, Scotland, we give it a four atmosphere and five yum yums. Really good. So living like locals tip is uh, when you're there, you know, always ask the locals what their favorite thing is. So I went to the bar here at the coach house in Pitlochry, Scotland. And I said, what's your favorite whiskey? And he said, uh, let's do something local. And he gave me some options and there was something called Aberfeldy. And seriously, it was the best whiskey we've had all day. It was super smooth. And we're actually liked it. we actually liked it so much that we're gonna do a whiskey tasting there at their place tomorrow. And it's only 20 minutes from us. And so this is, this is kind of how we travel is just ask the locals what what do they like? What's their what's their you know secret handshakes? What's their favorite things to do? And uh, what's their favorite food? And when we're in Scotland, what's your favorite whiskey? We wanted to start our whiskey tasting day early, so after fueling ourselves up with a big Scottish breakfast, minus the haggis we ventured out to learn more about this nearby distillery. We were the only people there when we arrived and it felt like we had the entire distillery to ourselves. All right, true Todd and Kathy form. Um, it's 10 o'clock in the morning and still a little jet lag because we're only on day two and we're here for a whiskey festival. I don't even know how we decided to do this and drink whiskey at 10 in the morning, but let's go in and see how it goes. We've all seen museums that display historical items of art, statues, and history, but a whole museum devoted to one whiskey brand was a whole new experience. Some people want a room filled with books or a huge money pit like Scrooge McDuck. But for me, I would love a room like this. Classic whiskey on display to taste. Who could want anything more? Definitely one to save one, I think. Yes. yes. To complete our tour, we drank whiskey right out of the barrel. And then, of course, sat down for our tasting flight. All right, so this is Dewar's 25. So this is their blend. Um, so the blend whiskeys are, they have to take different, different whiskeys from different um, areas or different uh, distilleries and they blend them together. So the Dewar's, which we see a lot in the States, is a blend. So this is the 25 here. It's nice, it's smooth. I'm, I'm not one for it to burn, so it has a little burn, but it's not that bad. So this is their single malt, which means it's made on premise. It's one single malt whiskey, it's not a blend. So this is the 12. This is really nice. This is, I had this last night actually at the bar. That's why we came here today. Um, before we buy it though, we're going to check to see if we can get in the States or not like that. Because we don't want to buy anything that we can easily get in the States. But the 12, I love. Our special one that we got is the, this is a 1999 cask. We actually got it straight out of the barrel. This is a 21 year old one here. This is an Aberfeldy. You see how dark it is because it's straight in the task. It smells incredible. I think it smells really, really good. You really get a lot of different notes on it. It's 
it's nice. I think there's a, you can definitely taste the alcohol in it. Um, a sipping one, again, I would probably get this one as well too. Very much sippy, a little bit more alcohol in it, um, but it's a good one. I think this one is at like 50, yeah, this one's at 59% and you, you can tell it. One thing you can do, I actually choose not to do this, you can cut it with water and they usually have like a little eyedropper on the table and usually you can put like just one or two drops and that will open up the out that will open up the whiskey a little bit more and kind of dilute a little bit of the alcohol in it you don't need a whole lot you can do a couple of drops i personally don't like water in mine every now and then i'll do it for a tasting but if i'm going to um really just want to taste it i'm actually a non-water person All right, so we finished our tour and we did the whiskey tasting and it was really good and actually it's so funny. I was kind of grumpy coming here at 10 o'clock in the morning because I was still tired, still a little jet lag, but we had the whole tour to ourselves. It was only just Todd and I in the 10 o'clock tour and I think it's a couple of reasons. One, it's 10 o'clock in the morning and who drinks whiskey at 10 o'clock in the morning except for us and two, it's because we're here in November, and so this is one of the things that we do at Living Like Locals is we really try to travel in off seasons or shoulder seasons because you really can get the full experience and not have all the crowds and everything. Sometimes the weather is not as great, but we're okay with that. We actually like cold, rainy weather to a certain degree. Maybe weird, but that's how it is. So again, one of our travel tips is to definitely consider traveling in the off seasons. It's cheaper. You're going to get better attention to everything, and you're going to get almost private tours, um, and you don't have to worry about all the crowds. So one of the things that we want to talk about, though, with any whiskey tasting, which is a lot different than wine tasting, is keep in mind, whiskey tasting has very, very high alcohol content. So you cannot drink all your whiskey on a tasting and drive. Um, also, too, here in Scotland, they have very, very, very strict rules about drinking and driving, as they should. Um, so one of the things that they will do is you will ask them at the end of the tour, and they'll practically offer it to you anyway, if they have what they call a drive pack. That's D-R-I-V-E-P-A-C-K. We'll put it down in the thing. What a drive pack is is there's these little bottles and what you do is you can take a sip of your whiskey and then you can put the rest of it in your bottles and they give you a little funnel and then you can bring it back to your hotel or your VRBO or your Airbnb, wherever you're staying and enjoy it. We actually have also brought them back into the United States. This is what the little bottles sort of look like. Um, these actually had labels on them. Some of them just come with blank labels and you can you know, write on them. I actually have a Sharpie too, so if I don't have them, I can cross them out and put something else. Experienced Scottish people will have dry packs if they come with them already, um, and they're ready to go with them too. But just be safe, do not drink and drive, and ask for the dry packs. Hey, so we're at the Bridge Restaurant in Pitlockery, Scotland. I've been waiting to go here for like three years. We went here before, and we kept saying, we gotta go tomorrow, we gotta go tomorrow. We never went. Um, and we almost did that today and we're like, no, we've been talking about this for three years. Let's go. It's probably going to get a five on the atmosphere. Uh, we'll see about yum yums, but let's go on in. So this place, the Bridge Restaurant, uh, we give it two yum yums. Um, the atmosphere wasn't what we thought from outside. It was kind of a one, only because it looks so cozy from the outside and inside it seemed very modern. I was expecting like stone inside and roaring fire and it was just more like a modern vibe. So really not what we were looking for today. Um, but if you're in a jam and uh, the, the main part of Pitlockery is filled up with tourists, it's probably a good place to get a quick bite to eat. Um, but yeah, so that's what we'd give the Bridge Restaurant in Pitlockery. Hey, so we're doing our second whiskey tasting of the day. This is right in town in Pitlockery. They have uh, total random whiskey tasting. We booked it yesterday and uh, we're gonna try it out. I have no idea what to expect. Could be good, could be bad, but um, let's check it out. We absolutely loved this tasting. 
The owner of the store gave us a wonderful variety of whiskeys to taste, as well as give us an engaging, detailed presentation. The best part of the whole experience was the tasting of his homemade gin. It was so good, we brought a bottle back home with us. The ultimate souvenir. Thanks for joining us on this boozy episode of Living Like Locals. Next week, we'll continue our tour around the Perth area of Scotland, truly one of our most favorite countries in the world.